Hello, hello. Welcome back to our beginner friendly tutorial series, episode 3, part 1. Today's episode will be about eye rigging. Eye rigging will provide a nice introduction to live 2D cubism. Today we'll be focusing on eyeball X and Y, as well as eye open and closed. Feel free to check out our previous videos on VTuber model design, as well as how to set up live 2D cubism ready for rigging. Watching these previous videos may be handy, as I will reference them occasionally, such as with keyboard shortcuts. We also discussed layer separation, which will be handy to know for this video. So let's get into it. Now let's learn how to rig. So we're going to start off with learning how to rig the eyes. I have to say the eyes and the booba are both my favorite parts for rigging. When I first started rigging, I started off with the eye because you get a good idea of how to use the different tools. So we're going to start off with that. Now let's go over to the part section and click this arrow and we'll just be able to close all of our folders. So what we're going to want to do is hide everything that could potentially be covering the eyes while we're rigging. So for me, I am going to hide my hair back and my hair front. Now this might look a little bit strange, but what we're going to do is we're going to start with this eye. And then when we have fully rigged this eye, we are going to flip it over. So we're going to copy and paste and flip it over to this side. So that means that we will only need to fully rig one eye and it will save us a lot of time. Now this will only work if your eyes look the same. If your eyes look completely different, like maybe it's a different shape or completely different colors or I, I don't know if it was when I was just wacky, it's not going to work for you. So you'll have to rig each eye individually. But fortunately for us, our eyes look about the same. So that's good. Let's start off with our right eye. Before we add any parameters to our eye, we're going to want to add what's called a mesh. And this basically allows us to transform our object later on when we add our warp deformers. So I'm quite lazy. <laughs> I'm going to select all of my eye, each individual layer, and for now I'm just going to add what's called an auto mesh, and I'm going to generate a heavy automatic mesh deformation, so it's just this third option here. And you can see it's done something crazy, that's good. <laughs> And what we're going to do is select on this eyeliner. I'm going to go to manual mesh edit. So I'm going to actually delete the auto mesh that we just created and we're going to manually do this one. Manually creating your meshes can allow for more detail when rigging, like when you're skewing it a certain way. We're going to make sure this part of the eye is meshed quite thoroughly. Now I'm just going to start off with outlining the eye. So you want to keep it relatively close. We're adding quite a lot of points. And this is going to allow us to have a lot of detail. And now to make this mesh more detailed, you select the four division icon. And you can see that it has automatically added extra points. Now you can grab your eraser tool. 
and you can hold B and left click, drag. This will make the eraser tool smaller and you can erase the unnecessary edges. So let's just fix that up. And I'm just going to click auto connect in case I miss any lines. And that looks pretty good to me. And now let's just click this tick to confirm our mesh edit. Great. Now let's move on to the iris. I am going to be using Yoshino's three dimensional iris technique. So what we're going to need to do here is go to manual edit for our mesh. We're going to just erase all that around the perimeter of your circle. You're going to want to outline it. So the goal of this mesh is to make the eye look three-dimensional. And Yoshino described this as a parallax effect. We're going to go to where our pupil is. And we're going to outline that area. Let's select auto connect. And then we're going to erase what's inside that circle. I'm going to outline it again. And then I'm going to grab the lasso tool. I'm going to hold Alt. I'm going to select the corner with left click. And I'm going to drag it in. And I'm going to grab the lasso tool again. And I'm just going to hold Alt and drag it in a little bit. I'm just going to auto connect that again. And then select OK. Now I'm just going to fast forward and edit all the other meshes of the eye. You can click on solo and that will hide everything else and just show the item that you're wanting to view. With the eye lights, I like to keep the meshes relatively simple. And remember, you can have different elements within the same mesh. So to do that, I normally just outline it, auto connect, and then start the next section. And this way, you'll be able to move them separately. So now we are going to do our clipping for our eye. So we're going to click on the sclera. So the white part. I'm going to select the ID and I'm going to clip everything inside the eye to the sclera. Uh, to do that you click on each element, hold down control and select. I have a lot of items because um, I have different emotion toggles. Just select your pupil and everything inside the eye. So once you've done that, paste that art mesh. So now it all moves inside the eye. <laughs> so first things first, let's work on our eyeball X and Y. So that will be looking side to side and up and down. Now, whenever you want to change the shape of something, make sure you have a new deformer. I just want to stress this point. Each time you work on a different parameter, create a new deformer for it. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, our pupil, our iris, and I'm going to grab, I've got this layer called Round Shiny. <laughs> it's just a highlight on my iris. I'm going to grab those three and I'm going to create a new warp deformer, which is this button up here. I'm going to call that arrow. <laughs> so this eye, iris x, y. So we've just created a warp deformer. Now these elements, the pupil, round, shiny and iris, they will all move together. And now I'm going to grab the shinies or the eye light and I'm going to create a separate deformer for that one. I'm actually going to change that to X, Y. So now that we've got those two made, you're going to click on the iris X, Y and you're going to click on the eye light X, Y while holding down control. So, so left click, control, left click. And now we're going to go down to eyeball X, this parameter, that's a default parameter. And then once we've got that selected, we're going to go up here to the three dots. And we're going to add keyforms by doing this. You're going to click the green keyforms have appeared. So this means that we can freely warp these elements using the warp deformers because they have been meshed, you can freely warp them along these keyforms without actually changing the item itself. For example, my top lid, so top lid glitter, let's just use this as an example. If I want to warp this, let's say we've warped it, and we try move these, it's permanently changed. Let's just go back, so Control z Whereas if we select our Warp Deformer and we want to skew it, it hasn't actually changed the item itself, it's just changed it on that keyframe. So uh, let's select our Iris and Eye Light again, now that we have the keyframes. We're going to right click on this left keyframe, and you have now selected the left keyframe. Now you're going to hold shift and hold those two warp deformers and you're going to move it to the left. So now you can see we have the middle and the left. You're going to do it around this area and now you can go up here and you can select reflect motion. Make sure it's horizontal and click OK. And now you have the right. Yay, we have left and right. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. It's my favorite part. So now we're going to select our iris. And we're going to make sure we have our keyframes on. If it's white, it's a no no. <laughs> no, no, no. You need it to be green to make changes. Otherwise, you're changing the element itself. So we're going to add three keyframes. So now it's good to change. So now we're going to work on the parallax effect. So let's move it to the left. We're going to grab our lasso tool and drag it around the pupil. And what we're going to do now is uh, go to select and we're going to move it towards the right. And we're going to mimic this with the pupil. Create keyframes. Move towards the right. You can press H to hide. And look at that cool effect. That's a parallax effect. And we're now going to do it for the opposite side. So press H. We've got our lasso tool. And we're going to move that slightly over there. So the idea is that because the pupil is more in the background, it's going to move at a different speed to your iris. It just gives it a more 3D effect. 
This is completely optional. If you don't like this look, that's that's okay. So now, because what is in front should theoretically move faster, let's just grab our eye light. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the left and it's gonna move faster. And I'll actually just reflect that motion to make sure it's the same speed. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. Now we're going to move on to the eyeball Y. So now what we can do is we can go to the eyeball X, right click on this and go select. And it's gonna select all the elements that you have previously changed. So now you can go to eyeball Y and click on the three green dots again and add our keyforms. So now we know for sure that we have everything keyed in and they are now active on eyeball Y as well. Let's just select on the deformers, so not the elements themselves. Let's select on the green deformers up here and we're gonna go to the left of eyeball Y. So we're gonna drag it left. An important note for this is left is down and right is up. So this is down, this is up. So we're going to hold shift and drag it down to uh, about there. And then you're gonna go up here, reflect motion, and we're gonna select vertically this time. So now it's moving up and down. So now we're gonna work with the elements instead of the deformer. So we're gonna select our iris and our pupil, go down, make sure that it has the keyframes, the green keyframes. We're gonna grab our lasso tool. We're gonna grab the select button, hold shift, and we're gonna drag it up slightly. So now once you've got that done, go up, Hold shift and down. Woo! Maybe not quite so much there. And again, we're gonna go to the shinies, the eye light deformer. We're gonna go left, which is down. It's gonna be fast. I think it's about there. Now let's reflect that motion. We're going to go vertically and now it's like that. Great. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here, select, so we've got everything selected. So now what you can do is you've got eyeball X and Y, you can click this button here which is link parameters, so eyeball X and Y. and now go up here to the three lines. The reason why we're doing this is because the corners are not synced. So we're gonna go to the three lines, the hamburger button, num nums. And we're gonna select synthesize corners. Click OK. And now it moves in the corners too. So now that we have it all blended in the corners, what we want is for the lashes and the eyelids to move too. So it gives more of an effect of looking left and right, up and down. So we're gonna select all of our lashes, our eyelids, the sclera, and the eyeshadow. And because I also have tears, I'm gonna select them as well. And now that we've got them all selected, uh, I'm going to create a new warp deformer and let's just call it arrow lashes xy. So we need to have more busier divisions. So let's just increase those, I'll show you what they are. They're basically more points of reference to warp from. So I can walk from this area and this area now. So let's just hold down control 
and move that down there. Okay, so we want it more or less here so that we have a warp option here, 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 and here. So now that we have a little box, we are going to click on the eyeball X and Y while we have selected our lashes X, Y, Deformer. And we are going to select the three dots up here. So that add three keyforms. And you have now created keyframes on each of these points. So they're no longer white, so that's good. We can start working with it. So now I'm just going to disconnect this. Uh, let's move the eyeball to the left. We want the eyelid to follow. So I'm going to hold down shift and move it sideways, shift, sideways. And you can see now that the eyelid moves with the iris. Now I also like it to enlarge a bit up here. I'm just going to press H to hide. <laughs> it looks so funny. We haven't done that one. Okay, let, let's not look at that one. Okay, so you can see we're in the middle and you can see that it's moving bigger. So um, you can press Control Z and then Control Y to keep comparing the changes you've made. So you can just keep playing around with it until you get the kind of look that you want. I might do it even a little more actually. I like that. So now let's just do the same thing on the other side. So now when you look down, And now we can join them. Let's synthesize corners. Make sure eyeball X and Y are selected and go OK. And you can edit parts that don't quite look right. Okay, that looks pretty good for now. So now we can move on to eye open and eye closed. So you want to click on our big lashes, eyeliner, our top lid, sclera shadow, sclera, and we're gonna we're gonna create keyframes on eye L open. So it is eye L, so the left side, because it's from the VTuber model's perspective. So we're just going to edit our parameter. Let's make the max 1. Our default at 0.8. Do the same for this one. Once we've got all these selected, let's create a keyframe at 0, 2, 8, and 1. We'll go OK. So this one the right is going to be wide open, this one is going to be default, this one's going to be half closed, and this one's going to be closed. So that's going to give your eye more expression, more variety. So let's now select on our eyeliner or our top lash, and we're going to now create what's called a path deformer. So I like to just chuck one here. Put one here, here. Let's move those around. 
and we'll put one at the end here. Great. Just put another one in there. Now let's go to the select button. Now let's just get started. It's going to look strange at first, but we're going to drag it down to the closed keyframe, so on the left. And now let's hold shift, click, drag down. We're going to want it about there. And we can adjust it later on if needed. Move it up a little bit. There we go. Let's start reshaping. So this is what your eye is going to look like when it's closed. Keep remembering to save. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So now we're going to work on to hiding the bounding box. So we're going to go to the sclera. Press H if you're on hide selection. We're going to create a deformer path around here. So we've got our loop. You're going to hold shift. Alt. And you can see now it's creating that illusion. So I'm going to select my bottom lashes and bottom lid. I've already got a deformer path for it. Create those keyframes. If you've missed some keyframes, you can right click plus, right click plus. And now let's start deforming it. So now I'm going to select my top eyelid and my makeup. I am going to create another deformer. Remember, if there's no green dots, create green dots. Right click, left click, right click, left click. And now let's start moving it. Let's just add some more conversion divisions to make it a little bit smoother. Now I'm going to do the eyelashes. This part is also fun. I'm just going to add another deformer path. Okay. Just wondering if it will look better flipped. I kind of like that actually. I just don't like this part in here. So I'm just going to add another keyframe right before there. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to right click on this one. This is a good thing to remember. If you want to copy this keyframe, if 
for this element, the shape of it, you can go Control Shift C, click on this keyframe, Control Shift V. And what that does is it copy and pastes the previous keyframe. I do like that a bit better. There's less of that weird part right there. <laughs> that will do, donkey. That will do. I am donkey. <laughs> I'm now going to just skew this over here a little bit. Make it a little bit nicer. Okay, you know what? We've got to be happy with it at some point. So <laughs> let's just leave it there. Now, this frame right here, the point two, this is there to give us some more control with the eye closing. So at this point, we want the eye to start closing. Not this point, this point here. So what we're going to do is the same thing, but this is going to be a half closed look. Okay, so let's grab, let's grab our eyeliner again and we're going to work with this deformer path. Right click on this one and we're going to just start skewing it down a little bit. Doesn't have to be too much. You just want that sleepy eye look, you know what I'm saying. Just so it's not so sudden at this moment. So I think we can even start dragging it a little bit. I'm going to edit the path. Just to give me some more control. I like that. Go back to the sclera now. We have our deformer path loop. So I'm going to hold shift and then alt. Now let's grab our bottom lashes. Just like a little bit of wiggle. Okay, so now we can go into our glitter, our makeup and eyelid. Now let's get those lashes. Yeah, that looks better to me. Great. <laughs> I'm happy. Now we're going to work on the iris. <laughs> I wrote Irish. <laughs> so we're going to call this Irish Squish. Sorry, my brain. <laughs> we're going to call this Iris Squish. Irish squish. Let's create some keyframes. So we're gonna right click, left click. Just gonna do those ones. So here we're going to want it to squish a bit. So I'm gonna hold Alt, squish it a little bit. And then here we're gonna squish it a lot. Create a lights 
squish as well. So let's just add those keyframes. Okay, so when we go to here, we want them to move down fast. And then when it's closed, I'm going to squish them. Okay, so let's just check those physics. Oh, so you go to the hamburger, settings for eye blinking and lip sync. You'll select the eye open. Let's go up here to modeling, open physics, scene blending. And we can see our blinking. You can also left click and drag around to see the eye movement. So now the last thing to do is the wide open. So we're going to just do what we did before. We'll go to the same squish. We're going to press H. We're going to hold shift and squish the eye. Okay. So now that we have worked on the parameters, we can start working on the eye physics. So that concludes this video. We have completed eyeball X and Y rigging, as well as the eye open and closed. Our next video will focus on eye physics. I hope this video was helpful for getting a grasp of live 2D cubism. Thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. And as always, get some coffee or some sleep and enjoy the rest of your day or night. Peace.